It is extremely challenging for EdTech clients to utilize third-party services that collect information from their sites or from their mobile apps using online tracking technologies, cookies, tags, SDKs. Those are integral third-party services that almost any website provider has to utilize. Um, but in the student data privacy context, that's very, very challenging because of all the restrictions on the way you can use student data. Student data privacy laws at the state level, for example, prohibit a provider from using student data for targeted advertising purposes. COPPA also does not permit online advertising to collect or online advertising uh, third parties to collect data from students and then use that information for targeted ads either on this site or on another site. Um, so anytime, anytime an ed tech provider wants to incorporate a third party technology or piece of code, they have to vet that third party extremely carefully. They need to know exactly what data is going to be collected from visitors to their site. They need to know exactly where it's going and how it's being used. They need to see the contractual protections that limit that third party's ability to use the data for any purpose other than the permitted purpose. They need to think carefully about where they're deploying that code on their sites or in their apps, if it's going to be deployed on a place where children will visit, or if it's only going to be deployed on a, a static marketing page that students don't get directed to. It is very challenging to figure out exactly which services you can work with. Um, there's not a lot of services out there, third-party services for analytics, for uh, even A-B testing, certainly for advertising. There's not very many vendors out there that will overtly tell you that they can be used in a manner compliant with COPPA or with state laws. So before you use any of them, you've got to do your own due diligence and you have to be absolutely sure that you're comfortable that you understand everything about how this vendor is going to be collecting data and using it. Because ultimately, you're the one responsible for any third party activity on your site. You are the one responsible for ensuring that any third party you allow on your site is collecting and using data in the same way that you would be permitted to. Otherwise, you could face a potential COPPA violation. You could be in violation of your agreements that you've made with your customers, with any sort of third party pledge that you may have pledged to. Um, it could be very problematic if you don't go through that vigilant diligence process.